Hello, I'm just with the Ford F-150 today. Thought I'd do a little walk around and show you some things. Let's get inside the car. Hello, just here with the Ford F-150. Thought I'd give it a little walk around and show you some bits. Stuff that I missed off yesterday's video. There's a big engine up front. It's a V8, 4.6. Triton V8, whatever that means. It's quite big and American. There's like a lot of size to it. If we meet, me stood next to it now, it looks quite big, doesn't it? I'll give you a little walk around and show you some bits inside. How do you um, feel about electric cars? Terrible. <laughs> right, so I'm in the car. There's a few bits like the the gears, it's like proper American. You've got this big stalk up here. Makes you feel like a proper redneck when you change gear and stuff. You've got your nice indicator stalk, which I mentioned in the other video, with your windscreen wiper switch on there. So as soon as you indicate, you just put the full wipers on. Don't really like that. Here's the switch here, because it's gas and LPG. I mean petrol and LG LGV. LGV, what is it? I just said it there. It's gas and LPG. <laughs> it's petrol and LPG, and there's a nice handy switch there to switch over. You can do that whilst you're on the move. There's a switch here which brings the pedals closer to me. That's the window. That's the window. <laughs> it's that one. There's a switch here. See, can you see the pedals? See that? How cool is that? So I can uh, adjust the pedals whenever I want, in case my legs get shorter or longer. So this one, go back to that now, does the back window, which is superb. These are the gauges. I've got one to tell me the battery temperature. It's not really the temperature. One to tell me the petrol. Oh yeah, going back to this on the gas, these lights tell you how much gas you've got in. So you're down to one light you need to fill up. I've got oil temperature, engine temperature, this superb little tray on the dashboard which just holds all your things and you can corner and they'll stay in there. I mentioned this in the other video, the back of the car with it being a pickup truck isn't the biggest. You can fit th three people in but not very comfortably. You can get kids in though. They can moan. No one cares about them. Oh yeah, the seat in the front, it turns into a bench, so. Look at that, three seats in the front now, three seat belts. It's a bit weird when you're driving around with three in the front though, I won't lie. So that stays down most of the time. This is where the petrol goes in. Completely normal, very conventional. And that's where the LPG goes in and you have to have different attachments for different countries that attach into there. It's very, very strange. Here's the back, the LPG tank is there. I've just moved the dog's bed. So that is the huge LPG tank, which doesn't take up any room in that huge, big pickup bed. I've got a bike in there just to show you a bike can fit in quite easily. It's not there because I was transporting it or anything. Right, the best part, the Roush side exit exhaust. Let me just start her up. Keys are on the back, bear with me. I'm awful at holding my keys. Are we ready? What a beaut. Something else I absolutely love about this truck is this door setup. Doesn't look like it's got back doors now, does it? Got a huge front door so all the fat Americans can get in and out. And then that one to let your dog in. I love that, that's just cool, isn't it? It's the little things. Say I've got my girlfriend in the back, 
and I'm dropping her off at home, but I don't really want her to go home. If I stay in the truck and don't open my door, she can't get out. I don't know why she's sat on the back, but she is. It also sounds incredible. If you just come in a bit closer for your camera lady, look at this armchair. That's the same as the driver's seat. I'm using this one because that's got a cover on it. But this, look at it, it's like a big armchair. You don't have a house. Look at that. And you can go all the way back. Ah, this is how I spend most of the drive back from Spain. Oh, feet on the dash and all that. Oh yes. It's such a good car. Oof. I looked into it as well. It will average about 20 miles to the gallon if you are extremely careful. But no one's going to be when it sounds like that. Yeah, this is my F-150 walk around video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think of my jumper. And I'll see you in the next one.